Hey, what's up? Welcome back. I'm John Morris. Here on behalf of Working Class Fishing, Morris Fly Co. It's Fly Tying Friday, and today we're tying a shrimp. Uh, I'm going to get into it a little bit quicker today. If you got questions, post them below. I'll answer them. Arex Norik Salt, size 2, NS110. Medium dumbbell eyes. Vivis uh, 140 power thread. These are for salt water. Um, this is actually going out to a guy, so you guys are seeing me tie an order fly for once. Not for once, I do this pretty often on Instagram and whatnot, but for uh, YouTube, this is the first one. Uh, I don't know who originally created this shrimp pattern. Uh, it's a little uncharacteristic of me, but I have no idea. All I know is that Pretty much all shrimp patterns look pretty close to this. Alright, we're going to build this up a little bit. Helps keep the dumbbell eyes from spinning as much. That's a trick I just recently learned. Since I've tied the claws ears and stuff like that. Alright, so shrimp flies, you can do a couple of different ways on your dumbbell eyes. You don't have to do them right up here. Some people do them mid-body or even back here on the bend, but that is not me. I am up here on this specific one today. This is like the first fly that I'm going to show the dude photos of. And uh, see if he likes it. If this is what he's looking for. He gave me kind of some of my own discretion too. Oh, my hands are cramping. I'm pretty dehydrated. All right, our dumbbell eyes are on. We're moving our thread back. All right. We're going to take some pink, come back just a hair, we're going to take some pink dubbing here. This is Franken dub, kind of just finding the middle. Then I'm going to V tie that back here, like so. We can trim it later if we want to. All right, a lot of materials are about to come back here. So if you want to whip each individual one. Which uh, I'm actually going to do. Like this is, this fly needs to be incredibly tough. Okay. There's our little bit of pink. Just a little bit. That's, it's actually really sparse. That's two really small pinches from uh, Franken Dub. And that is the uh, pink. It's just pink. Monster dub's kind of the same deal. Okay, now we need some legs. And this is what I was talking about for like jig skirts. From bass jigs and stuff. This is one of my old spinner baits. And I wanted these legs for this fly. Valentine, stay over there. You can just buy replacement skirts and not ruin your, your spinner baits, but I don't spin fish anymore. So, spinner bait's still intact. I'll end up sending that to some of my friends. I'm going to pull two of these. One, two... Three, four of these uh, white legs, not all the same length. Time down. I need to loosen my thread up some. Oh, I see what happened now. All right. Actually, slipped off. 
or uh, slipped over. I was wondering why my throat is getting so tight. I'll show you. I'll show you what happened here. It got caught behind the side of my spool. Which has never happened before, so I don't know what I did there to do that. I've literally never had that happen. But hey, there's first for everything. Okay, so I've got these four white uh, barred with silver and glitter legs. I'm actually snipping that free. I'm gonna wrap over all that. My bobbin's a little too tight now. Just cleaning all these wraps up. Doesn't matter what the body looks like underneath. Uh, it's all going to get dubbing looped over. Okay, so now we got our white legs. Now we need crustacean eyes. I make my own eyes, and I can teach you guys how to make these. It's not that, that difficult. So you want to take this curve... You want to have them kind of go down a little bit. I'll show you more on your side. One, two, three, four wraps. Pulling it back a little. Stretching it out some. Uh, snip that. Sorry, I got a message. And then get the other one kind of in the same area. Three turns. You know, fold it out some so it actually flares out. You want them to be down like this. See how they're facing down? That's what you want. So I'm pinching these down. I'm going to wrap back over this. And these can still pull out at this point, so I'm going to wrap these all the way down the shank. Just clean that up, clean that up. Nice, tight securing wraps. Making sure they're still facing downward, which they are. And then I'm going to whip, and then I'm going to do three turns. Then back more, grab that, all right, two, three turns right there in the middle. I've got this one tiny piece of leg chilling right here, just snip that out. Now we need crystal flash, you can use flash blue, flash boo, crystal flash. Two strands of Mirage, which is also opal. Um, same, it's the same color. Two strands. V tied in the back. We are going to trim these. And then two strands of pink. One. Two strands of pink. Same thing. 50-50 V-tie, however you want to call it. And secure it back. Now grab your flash. You don't want your flash to be much longer than your legs. So about here. Alright, now we got a little flash going on. We're starting to look like a shrimp. Okay. Done with her flash, moving it out the way. I can put these crustacean eyes up. Maybe a little baggy for them. I've got a few of these to tie afterwards. Okay. This is the only complicated part, and it's really not that complicated. We're making a dubbing loop. Opening this up. Alright, there's several materials you can use here, but you want a tan or a cream or a kind of brown, uh, really just 
tan, cream, light brown, and sometimes pinks. All right, we're trying to get around the same length I may need a little bit more than that cutting these half loops up pulling it out again then um so this is wool roving this is cream or a light tan or like excuse me light brown kind of color Still a little long, we go in half. We're stacked like this. You're gonna need a vodka needle or some way to pull that out too. And then I'm taking a hair of Franken dub, which is pretty much the same color. It's got a little bit of flash and black in it. I'm just putting that in there kind of sparse to mix it up a little bit. <clears throat> Use wax if you've got it. All right, my two rolls are now in my loop. I'm centered up like this. And now I'm going to spin her up. We are spun up. And then we pick all this out. No. You can comb it out, you can pick it out. Uh, wool roving does not stay out how you'd think. Uh, You can pick this out after you wrap it, before you wrap it. I'm going to pick it up some now. The dubbing brush makes this pretty easy. Uh, I lost my dubbing brush. So I'm picking all this up. And I'm holding my loop because you can see it trying to spin on me right now. And I don't want it to spin out the materials. All right, this is kind of what we're looking like now. I'm going to pick it up a little bit more. I'm just showing you guys what I'm doing here. A comb works. Um, a dubbing brush works. I'm just picking out really the thick spots where it bunched up a little more than it really should have, but I'm pulling the vice off. I know this is what you guys came here to see me picking out a bunch of material. All right, let's pick the rest of this out here in a second. Coming up right behind my eye. Actually, I'll go behind my dumbbell eyes on the rest. Gonna need a lot of more picking out here. We might cheat just a little bit. I do one wrap in front of the eyes. The rest is back. Snip it free. Clean this up at the eye. Backing these off. 
Okay. Just pinching this, trying to pull some fibers out. Take my bodkin needle again. So you kind of want it a little bit more than that. So more picket. It's a little time consuming, but you want the right silhouette on a shrimp. All right, coming back behind my eyes. I got that body there. Just broke off one of my rubber legs on accident. All right. This is our shrimp body so far. Gonna take some more wool roving. And this is where I was talking about we're gonna cheat a little bit here. Right, I'm just rip stacking this, which means I'm just pulling it like this, making the fibers more sparse. Making another loop. Should have been done in one loop. Mm, hands. That is a loose dubbing loop there. Pull it up behind these eyes again. That is a very shrimpy profile. I don't like those fibers sitting over that eye. It's just wool, but I don't like it. So I'm trimming it out. I'm going to whip this, and then I'm actually going to do three coats of head cement, which you guys won't see, but what you will see is the first coat. One, three turn, one, two, three. Four turn, pulling down, seated. Getting all up under that. And that's going to soak in. And then that is a shrimp. Let me pull it off the vise and show you. Um, not my normal, really in-depth, step-by-step. If you've got questions, 
leave them in the comments. Hit us up on Instagram at Working Class Fishing. Hit me up at Morris Flyco on Instagram. Did you get it? No, I haven't. Wait, did you put in all the And then here is your shrimp fly.